Leander is the best Austin suburb. Jeremy Knight, the Knight Group, your favorite Austin realtor. Yeah, that's right. According to homes.com, out of the top suburbs, Leander came in at number five, which makes it the best Austin suburb, really. So let's take a quick look at this list, and then we're going to go through and look at all the reasons why Leander is on this list, and maybe it should be a place for you. We'll look at that, and we'll look at some cool neighborhoods. And before we get started, like always, make sure you drop a comment below. Do you live in the Leander? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let's hear from you. All right, let's go. Okay, and here's the list. Homes.com did rank at number five. Here's kind of the metrics that they used. Price to income ratio, yard size. I think they had schools, diversity, a bunch of different things as the reasons for this list. And yeah, it came in number five on this list, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there is one Dallas uh, suburb above it, Forney, and then there's another Dallas suburb behind it. So let's look at what they said. Housing price to income, 2.67. Median square foot, 2,000 square feet. Average yard side, 0.18 acre. And work from home scores of 1.4. Okay, so what are some of the other reasons that Leander might be worth taking a look at? Well, number one, let's look at the distance to downtown. And the rush hour is about 28 to 40 minutes to drive time. So that's not too bad to get to downtown. And if you're going to be living and just staying in Leander, there's actually quite a bit to do. In fact, there's a lot coming, which we're going to talk about that. But right now they have the HEB Center. They have lots of shopping. Costco's kind of at the edge of Cedar Park in Leander. So there's a Costco there. So there's quite a bit of shopping and development that's gone on in Leander. Plus, if you like parks and things like that, there's a bunch of different kid like splash pads and things like that. Lots of cool parks in and around the Leander area. Plus, you're not too far from going to the lake. So there's a lot of reasons why people like that area for that reason. But let's look at some of the things that are coming to Leander. So first on this list that's coming is the Lagoon. This is going to be pretty awesome. Crystal Lagoon, which is going to anchor a massive mixed-use development planned at the southwest corner of FM 243 and 183. It's pretty much in the heart of Leander, and it's going to have a lagoon. That is pretty pretty cool to me. I'm excited about this project and I actually can't wait to go up and hang out at the lagoon and I don't know, the pictures show people paddle boarding. So will you get to paddle board and hang out on the beach in this lagoon? I hope so. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then on top of that, you have the North Line going in. This is going to be another mixed use development, which is going to be right kind of right next to this area. So if you're in that area like Liberty Hill, heading towards Georgetown, that north side of Leander, you're going to be really, really close close to this. They're going to have shops and a lot of fun things to do in here. This is going to be another really expensive development. They're going to put in apartments, shopping, retail, a bunch of different stuff. So the North Line, this is going to be awesome as well. The other thing that's great about Leander is if you want to take the train, there is a train from Leander to downtown. So that is pretty cool. A lot of people like that and use that. Okay, so what else makes Leander such a popular place and why people are looking at it? Well, let's look at the schools. According to niche.com, they give Leander an A. I like to look at great schools as well. And if you look at the map here, here's a good indication of what the elementary schools are. You have the middle schools and then the high schools. So, I mean, all of this area has pretty good rated schools for the most part, but keep in mind, Leander ISD does cover Cedar Park. So if you want to be part of that awesome, you know, Leander well-rated school district, you might also want to be in Cedar Park or Brushy Creek as well and still get some of that benefit. So what about housing and new construction are we looking at? Well, according to the Austin Board of Realtors, the median price right now is about 475 between residential and new build. Really, if you're looking at existing home, about 460 is the median and new construction's 550. Just looking at a map here, I mean, you have prices kind of all over the board on the market right now from 400K as a low up to 1 million. Some of the great neighborhoods that I really like are gonna be like Crystal Falls. Here's a great example of what you're gonna find in Crystal Falls. Now, this is $1.5 million, which is, you know, might be pretty high, but Crystal Falls has a golf course. It's a fantastic neighborhood, absolutely one of my favorites. And on top of that, you get really great views like you're seeing in these MLS photos of this listing for $1.5 million. I mean, look at that. That is fantastic. Yeah, looking at this house, I uh, told my wife, hey, we might have to move to Leander because I really like this house and we like the area in the Crystal Falls area. So that's a fantastic place. But I mean, look at the views of this house. I don't even need to look at the rest of the house. Just the views alone are 
stunning. But this house right here is like a four bedroom, four bath, 3,800 square feet on a huge lot. So this is really cool. But looking at the pricing, yeah, you can find stuff in different pricing. You know, another neighborhood that you might look at that's a new build would be like Deerbrook. I like a low tax rate. I'm a big fan of a low tax rate. Deerbrook is about a 2.54 tax rate. And if we go look at GFO homes, here's a good example of what the neighborhood looks like. And if we look at some of the pricing of the homes that they have, I mean, if you're looking here, they have 3,100 square foot homes priced in the 700s. They have 2,000 square foot homes price in the 600 685 so this is a good example of what you're going to find like in Deerbrook now there are other neighborhoods that aren't as expensive so look at that uh, but I just wanted to show you a really good tax rate and what to look at in this neighborhood there are other neighborhoods but be careful of the tax rates some of them are about 2.92 up to three percent so just be mindful when you're looking at that and here's another good example of a good neighborhood this one's at a 2.9 tax rate so it's a little bit higher but this is Lark's bar and so you're gonna get a home like this a three bedroom three bath 2,000 square feet but you're gonna get a great home and this is gonna be close to those developments that I was talking Talking about it's going to be close to the lagoon it's going to be close to the north line and if you want to take the north line down that's a great uh, spot for that as well so Lark's Bar is a good one there's Bar W Ranch which is another one so there's a lot of really good new build neighborhoods around there but you're going to get a nice home like this two-story home 461 right so you're under that uh, medium price where we said close to the 500 price point so you're under that so this is a great example this is just around the corner this is crystal springs crystal springs you're going to get a three hundred twenty-five thousand dollar home two bed two bath 1200 square foot so one thing that we run into in and around the austin area is the fact that pricing has gotten a little high so this would be a little bit more of an affordable option being in that low 300 price point so this is what you're going to get kind of in these areas around there and look there's just so much to love about leander in general what did you think do you think this is a great video do you want to now move to leander do you want more info i don't know drop a comment below love to hear from you jeremy knight the night group we'll catch you in the next video